Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. We did purchase some stuff this week um, and a little bit of last week too from the Trader's Market that I didn't get to show to you guys. We got some Target stuff as well as another mail call. Now this is from Ferris Finds Diecast. If you haven't checked him out, I'll have his link down below, but Matt reached out and told me he was sending this package. So with that, Matt, thank you so much for sending whatever's in this package. And then after that, guys, we'll get to whatever we found. Yeah, some pretty good stuff, not crazy, but awesome additions to the collection. But let's go ahead and jump into the package that Matt sent and see what we got. Set this bad boy over here. Let's make some room. All right, we got a little note up top. It says, Jason, first and foremost, thank you for your service to our country. Also, thank you for your content and all that you do for the diecast community. Included are some items for your collection, including what Ruby's grandfather might have looked like. Uh-oh. <laughs> nice. Please feel free to collect, customize, or pass along anything in here. Happy hunting and keep up the great work. Ferris. P.S. Who said all Mustangs need four wheels? Uh-oh. Oh, let's see what it is. Oh, man. Oh, we got some goods in here, my guys. It looks like a monster truck. Two monster trucks. Oh, nice. My man hooking it up with the treasure hunt. Dude, check that out, man. The Roger Dodger, of course. The legendary eight ball that was what 2021's super or 2020's super i can't remember what year that came out um but we have it up there sitting up top and of course i was stoked when i seen they were coming out with the monster truck and here we go guys let's see what the message says up top signs point to yes there we go man dude that is sweet love the wheels on that check that out you got the red line wrapped around and of course you can see the treasure hunt logo right there on the fender now this is new for 2022 and i never found it man here we go definitely a sweet one for the collection nice and it looks like we have two. Oh, we got a bone shaker this is the new color shifters release of the bone shaker i don't think i have this one now i have my monster trucks sitting in here and uh yeah this is one of them that i did not pick up there we go dude nice nice new addition to another rabbit hole this looks really good you got the nice silver metallic with the flames and of course what does this turn into it looks like it goes from white when it's hot to black when it's cold I guess i should tell you about the climate down here but man dude that is sweet check it out two monster trucks of some castings that i really love to collect bone shakers and roger dodgers were a rabbit hole i went down and i just love collecting them but the treasure hunt man dude thank you so much all right let's see stuff is nicely packaged in here uh oh open last nice all right let's pull this one out all right, we got the green 65 2 plus 2. How it started. Oh, no. Is this the prequel to that? All right, let's see. Next up. Oh, dude, check that out, man. Nice. Got the moon eyes drag beetle from Matchbox. Dude, that is awesome looking. Man, when did this come out? oh yeah it came out with the plymouth savoy i do actually have that one never found the miata i think i've seen the charger before um and of course i've seen the nasa chariot but never saw the beetle and here we go man we got it in the collection my man does it open up looks like it does looks like there's the hinge on back and yes i think it does open up dude oh man I want to open this up later on. All right, let's see. What do we have right here? Ooh, bike variations. You know, I love variations, man. But here we go, out of Matchbox. Oh, yeah, you can see that. 
check that out two different bikes did not even realize they did that so this is the mbx cycle trailer for both you have more of a street motorcycle or a street bike um, on this trailer so you have the sheriff's mbx county impound and then this one's the same exact thing but you have a different bike this one actually doesn't show it on card so this is the bike on picture that this one is but this one is a different one check that out dude that is crazy you have the super long rake on those forks in the front and of course that big bar that sits for the rear passenger dude that is crazy did not know they had variations to trailers now look at that matchbox is keeping that alive and the trailer itself is a beautiful pearl white look at that you can see the yellow pearl into it so there we go dude nice love that kind of stuff all right next up ooh, base variation what my dude has some good eyes for finding variations check this out this is the custom ford bronco out of the baja blazers so this one is supposed to have the different base variation so let's see you have the custom ford bronco and the hot wheels flame right there in the front of the axle all right and then this one oh yeah it's got the small hot wheels flame so just a slight tweak in the plastic molding itself so in case you guys wanted to see the difference so here we go you got the small flame on the left huge flame on the right even the font's a little bit different you have the larger one on this one so let's see which one came first so you have where's the build code on this one so p4 p46 and this one is this one is p44 so it looks like the larger one was first and then two weeks later they changed it up for the small one nice if you have anything after p44 it's definitely going to be the different variation nice man all right, and then last one right here is the S550 out of Maisto's Fresh Metal. This is actually a good one to have because these are really, really clean looking when you do wheel swaps, especially with how they do the paint on this one. They're pretty durable. So here we go, Maisto's Fresh Metal. Oh, it looks like there's one more at the bottom. Ooh, what's this? Oh, there's two more. Oh, man. There we go, guys. Look at that. Yes we have a second one beautiful man 71 mach 1 of course it's the joey logano's out of the boulevard series the mach 22 in satin black oh man that is beautiful yes we can have one to open one to keep carded my man and then followed up by it looks like a fighter or p51 yep there we go north american aviation p51 sick man check that out one of 2000 that's a pretty low product number for this so it's the pacific theater warriors flying out of iwo jima the stinger 7. so battle facts the p51 mustang whose p designated stood for pursuit was invaluable to the allied victory i did not know the p stood for pursuit see that is cool that is super cool so trained with p-51 aircraft the 45th fighter squadron moved to iwo jima to escort b-29 raids protect okinawa and continued fighter sweeps and long-range escort missions to japan dude that is awesome man you cannot have a mustang collection without having the origins of the mustang itself the p-51 wow dude that is sweet i did not know that johnny lightning even made these so yeah military series 2022 release wave one of version a so it looks like you have the tank the mad cossack oh you got a cc kw two and a half tons six by six holy crap p51d then you got the m16 half tank and the willies mb jeep dude that is awesome dude this is definitely going to be at work with my other aircraft that i have on my desk 
So sweet, man. That is awesome right there. Let's just double check. Yep, that's everything in there. Now off to this one right here. So this is the prequel, I'm assuming, to whatever's wrapped up. And it's the green 65 2 plus 2. You guys know this is my favorite all-time casting of the Mustang that Hot Wheels does. So there's the green one. Let's see what's in this bubble wrap. It's nicely packaged. Oh man, look at the look at the color. Oh my god, dude. Look at that color. That is clean. Look at that, man. Holy crap, that is beautiful. Oh man, dude. Matt, you knocked this out of the park. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Oh, dude, that shine. Wow, that is super spectra flame finish, man. You have the headlight and lower turn signal details. The wheels are perfect choice. Oh man, those are like, those are the wheels I always say remind me so much of the Shelby's and it just fits the fastback. I love how you matched Ruby's interior. Now I, now I get what you mean by being Ruby's grandfather because that right there, man, definitely has some dark low spots that really captures the lines to this. Wow. So I'm trying to figure out who said all Mustangs. Oh, okay, okay. That didn't pertain to this bad boy. It pertained to the P51. My dude, my dude, clever, clever, man. I love it, freaking love it, man. And then not only that, we also got the Joey Logano number two for the collection. So one of them will be opened. We got the S550 out of fresh metal. And then we got some variations I did not know existed, guys. You got the MBX cycle trailer, two different bikes. You got two different base variations to the Bronco. If you're a variation collector like I am, definitely pay attention to stuff like that. Um, then you got to the Volkswagen Drag Beetle with the Moon Eyes livery out of Matchbox. And then, of course, my man threw in the P51 Mustang. That is so freaking cool, man. So it's actually a really low production number. 2000's pretty low um, for Johnny Lightning. Usually they don't go anywhere below 2000. I don't even think I have anything less than that in my collection. So let's see. I think even these, like these Mercury Cougars, my lowest one right here is a 2300. And this one's like 6,750. So I don't know why the um, the orange one with the, with the mags is actually lower production than that one. There's 3000s, 2500. Um, I'm curious now if I have anything less than 2000. Um, these are Auto World Johnny Lightnings. Uh, let's see, that's 3000. That's a chase that really doesn't count because that's less than a 1% of their production. So 3000, 3000, 5500, 10,000 chase. Yeah. Dude, yeah, 2,500. I think that is the lowest production number of Johnny Lightning that I have. I don't have anything less than that. I wonder if that is the lowest they go is 2,000 besides the chase. So man, freaking awesome. This definitely, I'm definitely gonna put that back in the case because I don't want anything happening to this. And thanks so much for throwing it in a clamshell. I love these just for the display purposes. We gotta put this bad boy front and center right there. Nice. Matt, thank you so much again. We're gonna make some room and uh, shift things over just so we can kind of recap what I picked up, but it does not compare to this stuff, man. This is some awesome, awesome heat from you. So thank you again. Some of this stuff right here is from the Trader's Market um, that I picked up last week. So first one out is the SS Commodore. Check this bad boy out. You have the carbonated cruisers, SS Commodore VT. This beautiful red metallic. Now I actually do have this one loose and it is in rough shape, but I picked it up like when I first got here for 25 cents. And now we have it carded. It's actually number 87 out of 2003's release. But man, these things are super cool race cars, man. You got the full roll cage and interior 
You got the wing on there, the lace wheels, just a beautiful one. And then next up, we did grab another Corvette Stingray. Now this one's in full silver metallic, no racing stripes or livery. I love the plain look to this. So you got the chrome five spokes. You do have the Hot Wheels flame kind of ghosted on the back. Let's see if we can see it right there. There we go. So it is super ghosted. You have the Corvette badge right there on the front. But other than that, it only has the Corvette badging and the verbiage of the Corvette on there. So beautiful one. It is a first edition, did not realize that. And then of course it's number 15 out of 2003's release. So beautiful Corvette, man. Next up, I did finally get my hands on the Zamac Mach-E. Now I know I should not be even purchasing these as a Mustang collector because are these even Mustangs? They are not in my opinion, but we still have to respect what Ford comes out with as far as the Mustang goes. And being a huge Mustang enthusiast, I will buy all kinds of Mustangs. I don't care what it looks like, what it is, it's still a Mustang and it's great for the collection, especially a Zamac. So this is number seven, but I don't remember what release this was. So it looks like maybe J Case. You guys let me know down in the comments, but uh, yeah, definitely needed the Zamax. So got these from Bob. I always go to him to get the latest and greatest because he does get some good stuff and he only sells these for $2 a piece. So I cannot complain about that. The next one I did grab, this was actually from Walmart. I just threw it in the bag. It's out of the bootleg series. It's the 66 Mustang Gasser in black. Definitely love this one. Beautiful, just black with the red line wheels and of course it is a satin finish so not a gloss or not a flat finish but you guys know i love my m2 gassers i have a whole bunch they pretty much start out right here no that's a 350rs um there we go we got 65 gassers all the way down 66 shelby gassers 66s um two plus twos whole bunch of gassers i don't know i love the way the gassers are this 66 is beautiful purple metallic um and then of course you got the haulers down there but this one is a great addition bootlegger definitely a really sweet one and that was this one and then out of target we did grab some stuff this one actually i bought yesterday um, I got it, and you guys are probably going to be all sad about it, but I did grab it for the wheels only. Yes, the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL out of the Jay Leno's garage. I only took it for the wheels, and I'm going to show you which casting I'm putting those on. Now, it's going to be going on this one right here. Now, this is the Chevelle SS, the 1970 Chevelle with the New Orleans Police. I've had this for maybe two years now. And I can't remember who sent it, but they sent it without the wheels. But this is a Kmart exclusive deco. And the paint on this is a very thick and deep glossed enamel. It's not your traditional paint. And of course, I've been looking for wheels that are very close to the original ones that go on there. And these are pretty much close to what they're supposed to look like. I think they're supposed to be staggered just how these are. Now I just threw those on there just so it can have wheels, but it does not look good on there. You don't put Y5s on a Chevelle. Um, so these wheels are gonna be going on there and hopefully it looks good. Um, I might do some more research, but I'm pretty sure those are the exact style wheels that go on there. Next up, I did buy two of these, one to open and one to keep carded. And here we go, found the 69 Boss 302 out of the moving parts. And this thing is beautiful. Look at the blue metallic, man. Such a gorgeous finish. You have the detail on the motor underneath. You have the legendary Boss C-stripe running down the side and just done nicely. So I'm actually pretty shocked they didn't do the details for the taillights, but still, either way, man, this thing is beautiful. And then of course, having two of them, one to open and one to keep carded. Next up, these are new. I know you guys are probably just questioning why I go down rabbit holes, but look at this. I could not pass this one up. So this is the Red Bull Formula One. Check that out, man. The detail to this is just awesome looking. 
So of course, Barago, they actually still have a license to Ferrari. So I did grab the Ferrari one as well. And we'll look at it closely right after. So you have Sergio Perez. And then of course you have Max Verstappen. So there we go, man. Very, very nice Red Bull livery. Um, if my buddy does not have one of these, he has a Lexus RCF with a Red Bull livery. And if he hasn't found this yet, I do want to send this to him. But if not, this is staying in the collection. And then this one right here, guys, the SF21 Ferrari F1. Beautiful, man. Satin red finish. You have the UPS and shell with the Ray-Ban decos on there. But coming around the back, you actually have the 124 scale of that beautiful Ferrari. And then, of course, the 118 of the SF21. That would be super cool to find. But I don't want to go down these rabbit holes, man. They actually had the full series, um, but the Ferrari and the Red Bull were the only ones I wanted. So six bucks at Target or six ninety nine, I think, at Target. So really cool to see some new stuff come out like that. And then last one right here, guys. I finally, finally found the two pack of the Chevelle and the Torino. Look at that, man. Talladega or bust number twenty five. The red top and blue side with the 427. And then you also have the 427 shoved into this Chevelle with the number 86 in gold metallic. Dude, freaking awesome two pack right there, guys. Now let me know which one is your favorite because the Talladega looks beautiful. That is a full race inspired setup right there. With the headlight covers, you have the open headlights for increased air supply. And then, of course, you have the Chevelle, man. Oh, but coming around the back, I do have the BMW M1 Pro car that came with the Lancia Stratos. I do have that one. Now I finally have this beautiful two-pack and still have not found the Aventador in Huracan. So hopefully at some point I do. I know it's going to pop up at some point. Just got to be patient. But that is all we picked up. Other than that, guys, that is what we got, but nothing tops this one for today's episode. Ferris, thank you so much for sending what you sent. But like I always say, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. And of course, comment down below your thoughts on what we got from Matt, as well as what we picked up. And don't forget to go check out my buddy's social media, as well as his channel. I'll have that stuff down in the description box below, so definitely go support him. But other than that, guys, I got nothing else. Hopefully you all have a great weekend. And of course, until next time, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.